Yes, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be here at the precise conference again. Uh, I would like to present our recent developments in the transfer of FSI coupling with precise open form and calculix to industrial applications, our status and our plans. My name is Ulrich Heck. This presentation has been done in combination with my co-worker Martin Becker. First, I would like to give a short introduction of our company, then the motivation why we use open source solver technology and why we use the precise coupling here. In the next steps, I would like to present our GUI for open form and calculix with a precise coupling, then the benchmarks we run with precise open form and calculix, here in particular the Turek benchmark, the MOOC benchmark, and the free surface benchmark from Budel and Fuchs. Then our plans would be uh, would like to do with precise in the coupling and finally a summary. So first a short introduction of our company. Uh, we provide engineering services. Here we use almost open source solver technology. We provide uh, services for CFT applications and uh, find element analysis. We have some special fields in the CFT, for example, particle flows, uh, sprays, filters and free surface flows. Then we work in the field with moving grids for filling and injection processes. And finally, we have a number of FSI uh, projects here, for example, for membrane pumps, hydro mounts, membranes for power generation and high pressure pumps. In the FSI field, we use also commercial tools, um, but we also have an own FSI coupling for static applications. Um, Besides the engineering services we provide, we do a software training and support. And besides this, we also have uh, some tools for open form and uh, Calculix, in particular a GUI, which is called CastNet. This is a pre-processing system for open form and Calculix, where uh, CAT models can be imported and can be meshed. Here we use a hybrid meshing technology. And on the other side, we support SnappyX mesh for open form. Um, besides these uh, standard tools that we develop here, we also have some particular open form extensions. We have a filtration tool for open form. Um, we develop an own FSI coupling, as I said, for static applications. And then we work also in open form extensions for sprays, films, and for atomizations. In the next slides, I would like to present our graphical user interface for OpenForm and Calculix. Here we added the precise coupling in the last year. As background, we started with a GUI for OpenForm about 12 years ago. At this time, Snappy Hex Mesh didn't exist and users had to translate their meshes from other CFT tools. Here we looked for a solution for a CFT meshing and cutting port technology which fulfills an industrial standard. So we licensed the base systems for CFD meshing and cut import, as we didn't want to develop a mesh ourselves. Here we added the functionality to support open form and to simplify the case setup. After some years, we added Calculix export to our system. Here we also integrated some options for coupling open form with Calculix. This was done, for example, for thermal and mechanical problems. Also, as we work in the FSI field and have customers using our GUI for a couple problems, we decided to add precise as well, and we are quite happy with this. A general advantage of GUIs, in particular for industrial users, is that we can overcome a quite different structure of the workflow in the different systems. For example, in open form, users typically use a text file based, which are distributed to a number of folders. Uh, Calculix uses an Abacut input format, and for precise, we typically define the coupling in the XML file. Beside the input, we have different needs for the meshing. Uh, for open form, we have linear elements where a hybrid mesh approach for, with a structured mesh around the FSI interface may help to realize larger mesh deformations. And in structural analysis, we typically use second order elements for accurate results, and also for the post processing. Of course, it would be nice to visualize the results from OpenForm and Calculix together, but typically the post processor for OpenForm is ParaView and the results from Calculix can't be read directly into ParaView. Here, a GUI can help, for example, with the keyword selection and data visualization. So, for industrial cases with more often changing geometries and different applications, 
a GUI may be faster. Of course, in comparison to a poor text file approach, we will also have some disadvantages. In particular, for experienced users with good scripting and programming knowledge, working without a GUI can be faster, in particular for automatization processes. Here are some screenshots how the workflow in our GUI for precise typically looks like. The user can import a cat geometry which consists of the fluid and the solid domain. And uh, then he can mesh, for example, the fluid domain only here, for example, with a structured meshing for the flap case. Um, the user can define his settings, for example, for precise in a GUI based manner. He can select the keywords for the coupling. And we have um, many functionality here integrated in this GUI. Um, after the case is exported, he can run the case. Um, we have the option, for example, to monitor the, the case, for example, the residuals, and, but also the user can look, for example, how much iteration are needed in each uh, FSI iteration. After the case is finished, you can import the case results to uh, Paraview. We have a translator for Calculix as well, so the results can be visualized together, the flute results and the structural results. Another option that we have here, for example, is that we can use a hybrid machine here. Here, for example, a case set up for a valve, which is used here. And in this case, we can, for example, define a structured mesh around our FSI interface and use a hex core meshing in the rest of the domain. So this allows us, for example, to get a higher compression, for example, in this region of the FSI interface. Uh, the results of this case look like this. We have a deformation of the membrane here, which is a um, disc here and is closed by the higher pressure. The first question that we typically get from industrial users is how good does the coupling work and is it accurate? So to prove this, we run a number of benchmarks and the first and well-known benchmark for FSI is the TURIC benchmark. In the TURIC benchmark, we have a cylinder and behind the cylinder an elastic structure. The vertex shedding at the cylinder induces vibrations of the elastic structure. The properties of the domain are given below this figure here. We use a parabolic inflow profile. There exist three cases of the TURIC benchmark. The first one is a steady state case. The second one uses a high amplitude. And case number three has a complex motion. We looked here in particular at the second TURIC benchmark with the highest amplitude because we also would like to check how good the mesh motion works with our mesh approach. The properties for the second benchmark are given here below. Here we see the results of the TURIC benchmark. In the upper window we see the velocity distribution and the stresses in the structure. After some time, the elastic structure starts to vibrate and we reach a periodic solution. Um, we looked at the lift and the drag forces, which are also given in this benchmark. And um, here we see, for example, the complete range of our uh, simulations that we used here. And here we see uh, the last iterations to have a better impression of the results here. And here we see that the results that we receive here with open form calculus and precise co coupling are very good, in particular for the drag and for the lift force. Even the lift force is often much diff more difficult to uh, reproduce here in an accurate way. So we were quite satisfied from this coupling. Also, the simulation time was quite fast. And uh, so we can go to the next benchmark um, to investigate here um, the results. The next benchmark we run was the MOOC benchmark. The MOOC benchmark consists of a channel. And in this channel, we have an elastic flap. The flap is deformed by the flow. A time-dependent and parabolic velocity profile is used here at the inlet. The advantage of the MOOC benchmark is that this case runs much faster in comparison to the TURIC benchmark. This allows us to investigate easily different analysis options, for example, different meshes, different mapping options, 
or different solid element representations. On the other side, we only have here less information about the results. For example, we only get here a displacement of the flap depending in time. Here we see the results of the Moog benchmark. In the upper window, again, the velocity and the stresses in the flap. In the lower window, we see the displacement of the flap. This is what we compared in the next step. So also for this case, we found a very good agreement with the precise in comparison to the reference that we used here. We also used here shell elements in the coupling and the results are not given here, but we have also a good agreement here for shell elements. For shell elements uh, is also a nice support that we have here because it's often much easier, in particular for thin structures from the mesh motion to work here with shell elements in uh, calculics even when the shell elements are internally used as three-dimensional elements in Calculix. In the last step, we looked at a benchmark for free surface flow, which is also known as elastic dump break. Um, for us, it is a major advantage in precise that we don't have here a specific FSI solver, but we can use a precise coupling for a number of open foam solvers. We can use it, for example, for the incompressible solvers, we can use it for the compressible solvers, and we can use it also for the multi-phase solvers. For the multi-phase solvers that we used here, we had to do a slight adaptation in the precise coupling, but also this is given in the user forum. Uh, the benchmark consists of a water column under gravity and an air room. We have an elastic structure, and the elastic structure is deformed by the water. Here we have the results of our elastic dumb break benchmark. We see the water fraction in blue and the deformation of the elastic structure. The structure is also colored with a displacement here. For this benchmark, we have experiments and another numerical solution. The experiments are given in the first line and another numerical solution with fluent coupling is given in the second line. We see that in all cases, in the experiments fluid and the precise coupling, we see a similar distribution of the water in our room. Finally, we have here also the displacement of our elastic structure. Um, we see here the three cases that we compared here, the precise case, um, the reference from Bodil with a fluent coupling and another case from Fuchs, which is also a coupling realized with open foam. Of course, here we have a wider spread of the results because uh, we have here more effects that are not always considered in the modeling. But in general, we have a good agreement in all three cases with the experimental data. So here I would like to present what we plan to do next with precise open foam and uh, calculix. So first, uh, one problem that we actually look at is the uh, extension of precise to uh, internal zones. So we use here, for example, porous zones in the FSI coupling, and when we have a certain pressure drop across the zone, we get a certain deformation here for this kind of filtration applications. We run this already with our FSI coupling. As we have a static coupling here, we can change the boundary conditions when we would like to, um, to do the force estimation with our tool. But in this pr uh, transient coupling with precise, this is not so easy possible here. And we would like to find a solution for this kind of problems also with precise. Another important uh, issue for us is the mesh motion with open foam, in particular with wall contact with uh, calculex. So we typically have these kind of membrane pump applications. This is uh, here a commercial solution where we have here an FSI application. Um, we have here a membrane pump which transports fluids from the outer region here to the center. This is an axisymmetric model. We have a membrane which is deformed by moving up and down, and we see that the membrane touches here the wall. The fluid region is highly deformed, and these are the problems that we would also like to run with precise open foam and uh, calculix. 
Um, on the GUI and workflow, we would like to work on, on the conjugate heat transfer coupling. Um, we notice that in open form, the conjugate heat transfer is quite slow, in particular in the solids, maybe caused by the segregated solution here. And we expect that when we use finite elements here for the coupling with, with the calculix, then the solution might be much faster. Also, we would like to implement here a restart option for uh, open foam and calculix, and also would like to uh, develop a remeshing with snappy hex mesh when we have a highly deformed uh, fluid domain that we, this structure is uh, extracted and then remeshed with the snappy hex mesh, and then the solution goes on. So these are the topics that we, uh, where we would like to work on, and I would like to do some promotion here. Um, we also so look here for some students for internship, bachelor, master thesis who are interested in working on these topics. And um, yeah, maybe there's some interest here, so don't hesitate to contact me. On the other side, of course, we also would like to support the precise project further. Uh, I did also some small promotion here. I kept the presentation at the Nathan's conference because we made the experience it's always good if also users say that this is a good solution. And also on LinkedIn, I shared some examples from Precise, a benchmark that we had here. And uh, we would like to extend this further also on this uh, uh, project that we are planning here to work on, these extensions and examples. And maybe we will find some other people who are also interested. And then we can uh, do some uh, development together and uh, share these uh, uh, new functionality with a precise community. So uh, I would like to summarize my presentations. We find here with precise, very powerful coupling uh, functionality for open form and calculix. From uh, our experience, uh, the key points for us are here the smart adapter concept then that we allows us to use it, this coupling for incompressible, compressible, and multiphase solvers in open form, which is really very nice uh, integrated here. We see a powerful mapping and time integration methods, and we can use it with full parallel performance here. Um, from our side, we see some restrictions here, in particular on the solver side. For open foam, we have restrictions here in the mesh motion. We would like to improve here also within our development from Calculex. We see some uh, issues here with dynamic contact, in particular with FSI, and also this is something that we would like to work on, or maybe it's just uh, some switches that we didn't find yet in Calculex so far. So basically, for users and industries, we develop here a GUI with the automatic workflow, which is available now for usage and will be further improved and extended. So here we will plan to do a workflow for remeshing, conjugate heat transfer, and also restart uh, option. So thank you very much for your attention. It will be a pleasure for me to uh, answer your questions. Also, it would be a pleasure to discuss the points that we would like to develop also with Precise um, during the next days. Thank you very much.